So we started building this skill yesterday of reading time from clocks and we had to go with these broken clocks. And there is so much to being able to read time from a clock as well to get your head around. We're going a little further today where we're going to think about time in 12 and 24 hours. So still reading time from clocks, but having to think about why do we have 24 hour clocks as well as 12 hour clocks and being able to take readings in, in those different ways. Um, so we're going to start as normal by a bit of a recap from yesterday's skills. So yesterday we were learning to read clocks and I, and I presented them like this. So this was one of them. 8.15, we're saying that this hour hand shows the hour, the eight, and it's between eight and nine, and the 15 here, of course, the minute hand is pointing at the three, so that's three lots of five minutes, so it must be 8.15, and 4.50, um, so we know it's 50 minutes, because it's 10 lots of five minutes with the minute hand, and we saw the hour hand is between four and five still, it is 4.50, even though the hand is close to five, because it hasn't reached five yet. And then we had a look at this time, and, and I said, what's the time? Which time? Now, if you want a few clues, then leave the video playing, or you might just want to pause the screen now and figure out what's the time there. Or, if you want to have a look at some of the possible answers, here they are. So have a look at this one, and again, you might want to pause the video now. Uh, what's the time there? Okay, I'm going to have a look at that one. So, the time here is actually... 2.45 and we figured it well the the hour hand is pointing between two and three so it is not three o'clock yet and nine is nine lots of five is 45 minutes 2.45 now we're going to develop these skills but this time we're going to extend by looking at 12 hour and 24 hour time and reading clocks in that way um, and understanding what's the same and what's different about the 12 hour and 24 hour time readings now, why do we have 12 hour and 24 hour readings? I'm going to, we're going to have a look at this example. Your shopping will be livid, delivered at 20.00 on the 27th of May, as opposed to your shopping will be delivered at 8 p.m. on the 27th of May. Now, I think it'd be very easy if I was making that booking for me to make a mistake and switch around a.m. and p.m. if the times were just shown in a.m. and p.m. And I might think I'd plan my shopping to be delivered at 8 uh, a.m. And actually, I do a booking for 8 p.m. because they look so similar. Whereas I don't think I would confuse it when I use 24 hour time. But when someone's asked me the time and let's say I, I, I've said, oh, it's or I've asked someone else the time and they've said it's eight o'clock. I don't think I've ever said, is it morning or is it evening? Because you just know. But 24 hour time can be really helpful if you're ever having to plan ahead. Just like booking trains. So sometimes I go on the train from Crewe to London. And on train timetables, you'll see that the, the times aren't displayed in a.m. and p.m. The, these ones here, 7.14, I know that's in the morning. And 19.01, I know that's in the evening. Now this is actually 7.01 p.m. But it's presented here in 24-hour clock. So no one gets confused and thinks they're gonna they're they're uh, they're booking a train in the evening and actually they get a morning slot. Um, it, it's far harder to confuse the times when you're doing something in advance using 24-hour time. But now I guess what we've got to be able to do is read clocks in both times. So have a look at this one. When it is 10:30 uh, a.m., that's telling us it's in the morning. So the, the time in 24 hour time is also 10.30, it's, it's the same. And then 11.30, tw in the 12 hour clock time, it's 11.30 a.m. in the morning. So 24 hour time is 11.30 as well. When we get to 12.30, then we describe it as the afternoon or p.m. But notice here, the 24 hour time is still 12.30. But then we get this change when it gets to 1.30 p.m. You see how we, when we go over this one, and now the 24 hour time just keeps counting on from 12 to 13. And can you see, it's 12 hours more here in, in what's displayed. And of course, these are the same times. So if we go on 2.30 um, p.m., so that's a p.m. time, it's in the afternoon. So in 24 hour time, it's 14.30. Again, it's just another hour on. It's a, it's still, we have this 12 hour difference. So 7.30 p.m., is 19.30. It's 12 hours more than 7.30 p.m. Okay, so 10.30 p.m. Pause the video if you need to. 
But what will be the 24-hour time there? I'm going to have a look. It will be 22.30. It'll be 12 hours later. What about 9.30 a.m.? What will 9.30 a.m. be in 24-hour time? Pause the video if you need to. Well, actually, it will still be 9.30 because it's in the morning. It's an a.m. time. What about 8.15 p.m.? What will that be in 24-hour time? Uh, 8.15 p.m. Again, pause the video if you need to. It will be 20.15. Again, 12 hours later because it's a p.m. time. Now, let me show you these ones. Um, notice how 12.10 a.m., so that's just after midnight. That's 10 minutes after midnight. And notice in 24-hour time, it's almost like we're starting the count of the day from zero, and it's 10 minutes past zero. Then when we get to 1.10 a.m., it is then 1.10 in 24-hour time as well. Now, have a look at this clock here. Um, and let's see if we can combine all the things that we've learned. So what time could this clock be showing? Of all these times here, it, it, it's more than one. It's a few of them. So have a look. Which ones can you rule out and which ones could it be? I wonder how many you can find. I've not put all of them here, but I've put some of them. Uh, pause the video. Okay, Koki. Right, let's have a look at the times it could be. Now, I'm going to cross them off. I'm going to cross off... 2.10 and 14.10. I know it's not that. The minute hand is pointing at the 10, but of course that's 10 lots of 50 minutes. So it's got to be one of these times with a 50, not one of the times with a 10. And then I guess I just need to look at this hour hand. So the hour hand is between 1 and 2. So which of those times could it be? Well, it could be 1.50 just before 2 a.m. It could be 1.50 p.m. So from the clock, we don't know if it's a.m. or p.m. It could be... 13.50. Now, there's one that actually wasn't included. It, it could also just be 1.50 on a 24-hour clock as well. Here's your final challenge, okay? So what time could this be showing? Can you give it in a.m. and p.m. times? And can you give it in 24-hour clock times? Can you find the four possible times that this could be? Or it's two possible times shown on those different forms of clock. Uh, so pause the video and see, see how many of those you can find. Okay, well, let's have a look. Well, it is four lots of five minutes here. So it is, and it's after five. So it is 5.20. There's lots of different ways I can say that, of course. It could be 5.20 a.m. Or it could be 5.20 p.m. And the 24-hour times? Well, it could be 5.20. Or it could be 17.20. 12 hours on. So this one, of course, is kind of in the late afternoon, early evening. You get to today's questions by clicking on the blue link underneath the video. Um, for task A, there's six clocks to complete. For each clock, draw the missing hand. You've got to work out, is it the minute hand that's missing that you need to draw on, or is it the hour hand that you need to draw on? Remember that minute hand is longer and the hour hand is shorter. Uh, task B is quite similar, except this time it includes 24 hour times for you to draw on. So that increases the challenge in that way. Uh, you might fancy having a go at those. I, I, I've drawn um, some example answers underneath, so you can have a look at them if time is right to do that. So I hope you found this video and all the other videos really helpful, really enjoyable, really inspiring. Uh, that's always my aim. Um, there's a week off now from the videos. I'll be back on the 1st of June. There's a week off because it's actually a holiday. That's strange, isn't it, at the moment? Um, and But I'm going to be back on the 1st of June. I'm going to have lots of new ideas. Um, parents and teachers as well. If you've got any suggestions about how I can be more helpful in these videos, please let me know. Everyone, have an amazing week, and I'll see you again on the 1st of June.